Hey everybody. So let me show you something. I got this thing set up on this channel here. And if I turn it up, there's nothing. This is the frequency generator. Now watch, I've got a tone. See, now it won't work anymore because not nothing's feeding back. There's no, no, no power or nothing to it. But if I were to create the loop, like a echo effect almost that never ends, you can hear that it kind of does echo. Now I turned it off. Now it's doing its own thing again. The reason why it echoes is because it's the two frequencies coming from, one's coming from the frequency generator and one's coming from itself over here. So now I can control the pitch. feedback stops and the loop stops but once you control everything I'm thinking about with like adjustable capacitors on here and then I can control the amount of current that comes in one of these I was gonna this is just one coil but I'm thinking of putting two in there on a double loop so it's like a left and a right I just set it up real fast because it's going to go around here and there's a whole bunch of other uh, speakers with magnets in them. I had to take it all apart because I need to put the wires on the opposite side. They're on the inside. Uh, Justin gave this to me a long time ago and I just never got around to it. So there's like, you can see there's magnets with pizzicato speakers in there. Um, so yeah, there's another one that's the opposite from it. I don't know where it is. It's in this massive junk pile I got going on. It's up here somewhere. Here it is. So if you take one and the other one will stick, but if you reverse it, they'll repel each other. So, the idea is to put these things around it in the middle, down here. And then I took apart my Tesla coil so I can get this coil out. And that's going to go in the middle there. And the, the electronic components will go down underneath. Because that's the wireless current that I used in another 
experiment with this system, but I used a TV coil and a speaker coil to do this. And this, this is the same principle, but just super tiny. So now I can do that. I can add the plasma through it and that will amplify the magnetic field. And then I just got to figure out where the rotational fields are. And it kind of works like you can make a motor, you know? So if you add a sound to it and the sound loops, it's a perpetual loop system by feeding back. And they work off of each other, like how if you wrap one of these uh, a little bit differently on one side than the other, you can upstep the current. Um, so you can kind of generate little steps around some capacitors and stuff. Bam. And then that will feed back into each other. And then when the capacitor fills up, it'll launch another current of the same charge, keeping it perpetual. But you have to have a little bit of sound to, to, to make it work. So it's kind of weird that, you know, there's no sound coming out of it and it's, you know, amplified. But if you add the sound to it, sound out and now it's a tone sound now it's gone because I'm messing with it I did notice that when you do it the, the higher frequencies like this they they scream real loud so not very fun don't want it's like midnight right now fuck freak out my neighbors so I'm using the bass frequencies. Didn't catch it. Gotta get that wobble. And then that that's the feedback. Now it's now it's its own sound. Basically feeding back into itself, creating a, a loop. Because sound is current, not a lot. But if you keep on amplifying it, it becomes more current. You can see that it's vibrating. And get it to go again after it turns off. Guess not. I guess if you kind of set the magnet and the special feedback little thing, the wood helps, you know, resonate vibration. So, but I already tried it without that too, and it still works the same. It just works better on here. So I'm hoping with this up off the ground, just a tiny bit off these little holes and little bumpers, and then put this thing all together. This didn't take very long to wire, so it's kind of sloppy. I'm gonna hook it up next time to a little thing so I can spin these, uh, the coil in there easier. The hard part is doing these, you just got to do them by hand. It's not normal to put them on there, but, you know, if you're going to create an electrical field, that's a magnetic field. Magnetic fields and stuff is how uh, microphones and speakers work. That's what gave me the idea to loop back feedback into plasma fields that are electrified, wireless electricity. But if you can loop them and continuously loop them, then you can take the power and turn them off and the sound will continue it. That's the hard part is getting the sound to continue everything perpetual, you know. <clears throat> it's got to have a little bit of current to do it. So, yeah, that's what I was just messing with. Just finished up a bunch of orders and got them all boxed up. That's all. It's a big old giant box I gotta send out. I got two of those to send out. Unfortunately, they've been waiting quite a, quite some time for them. It takes me a while to build all this stuff. <laughs> all right, I just wanted to show you guys this. I thought it was kind of interesting that I did this where I can make it real tiny. Uh, this is a real small piece here, so they fit perfectly in here.
by coincidence. He sent me this thing a long time ago. Um, this thing was sealed up and I took it apart and these things actually fit in there either way. Either I'm going to have to put them over here or I'll put them right here. And they fit like perfectly. Once the metal's in there, they rest perfectly in there. I'm just thinking that maybe I might loop some of these, a couple of them, to the other speakers up here, since there's so many of these speakers. Um, I'm thinking of doing these on separate system to do an alternating frequency, like an oscillation. I just don't want this to create too much movement because then the whole thing will start moving around. The point is, is to magnify the uh, magnetic field. All right.